In this tutorial video, I will be showing you how to complete one of the mandatory steps, which is to set up a payment method. In this video, I will show you how to set up Authorize.net. So, click on Authorize.net. First, you should make sure that this field is enabled. This will enable the Authorize.net payment gateway on the checkout page. Then, leave these fields as it is. You do not need to change anything here, it is already set for you. Now, enabling tokenization. will allow your customers to save their payment details for future checkouts. By default, this is disabled, but you can enable it. Then, the detailed decline message setting, will show your customers more details of why their payment has failed. This setting is also disabled by default, but you can enable it. Then, leave these fields as it is. Then, in the connection settings. This is where we will add details from your authorized.net account. Leave share connection settings as disabled. Now, for your API login ID and API transaction key. You will need to find this in your authorized.net account. So, go to authorized.net's login page and log into your account. You will be brought to the home page. Then, click on account. Then select the settings tab. Then, click on API credentials and keys. Your API login ID will be located here. Note it down. Then, down here. Click new transaction key. Then click Submit. In my case, I already have the transaction key. But after you click Submit, your transaction key will pop up. Then, go back to the page, and enter your API ID and API transaction key. You can leave the API signature key field blank. Now, for the payment form type. You can choose the way the checkout form loads Authorize.net's payment gateway. By default, the payment form will load in line. Which is on the checkout page itself. However, if you set the option to Lightbox, the payment form will load in a pop-up box. It is recommended that you keep it to inline, to avoid any confusions in your customers. Then, click on Save Changes. After that, you have successfully set up Authorize.net as a payment method. I will cover the other payment methods in separate videos. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and like this video for future tutorial videos.